What up, YouTube? Supercharged iOS here, and I got five brand new city of tweaks to show you guys. All right, so we'll start with number five, and we'll end up with number one being the coolest one. All right, number five is iCleaner Pro. What iCleaner Pro does is it removes unnecessary files, it speeds up your device, it clears cache from the apps, from City or from Safari, and you know it's just a all around good you know utility tweak to have it's free uh, if you need to add insanely I the, the uh, source to get this tweak there'll be a, a link in the description where you can add the best sources out there and you can get all these tweaks free and much more and that's iCleaner Pro I'll show you a little bit more about the tweak itself it adds an app right here to your desktop I mean to your I'm sorry to your springboard And the app is pretty self-explanatory. You just turn on which apps you want to do right here. And you just hit clean. Bam, it cleans them. It's that easy. It's a great tweak. Check it out. It's free from Insanely Eye. And like I said, there will be a link in the description of this video. So you can add the best sources and get all this shit free. Alright, number four is called Clock Fade. Alright, I'll go into my manage and show you it. And show you how it works and everything also clock fade all one word it's absolutely free and you don't need to add a repo to get this one this should be from the big boss repo or yeah the big boss repo which comes with the jailbreak so nothing to add there completely free what it does is it allows you to fade in the status bar time I'll show you what I mean And you can see my time fading onto the screen at the status bar at the very top. I'll show you once again. When I slide to unlock, look above the time. See how it's fading in. So that's a pretty cool tweak. It's pretty easy to use. It doesn't add an app to your uh, to your device, but you just configure a uh, clock clock fade in your settings. It would be right here clock fade you just you can adjust the animation delay you know how long it takes to fade in or fade out or whatever you want to whatever you want to call it it's a pretty simple tweak it it works I mean some people like it some people don't it's just something brand new that I thought I'd show you guys so I thought it was about a one to ten about a five all right so just check it out if you want it's called clock fade it's completely free and it's number four Number three is F Lux. So when you go to search for this one, you just type F dot L U X. And what this tweet does is it warms up your screen to match your lighting to night or day, either one. And it just says night right here, but the settings do show that it's you can set it to change during night or daytime. And you can see down here it's sunset. It does it's it's a you know it's a cool little tweak if you like to change the colors of your you know of, of the way your iOS device operates normally and you can see in the picture right here on the left is a normal iPhone and on the right is a Flux enabled iPhone and that's just one little example there's about four different settings for this tweak it is free and uh, I'm not going to be able to give you a very good demo because uh, it only shows the way the native iPhone is supposed to be shown on the screen recorder but what uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you at least the settings of Flux, and I'll show you guys how it's done. You see at night right here you can set daytime. I have it to normal but you can change that. Set to any one of these. Same thing with the at night. You can set that to any one of these. And it's, a, it's an okay tweak to use every now and then if you want to just show you someone your phone real quick and just have them say, whoa, what's wrong with your colors or whatever, you know, and just you know you know show them how it's different and whatnot all right number two is called mail enhancer pro now go into my manage section now this this tweak's gonna cost you I'm not sure I think it's like 499 but uh, I would just go ahead and follow my instructions and you can go ahead and get this tweak free as with every other tweak I show you here it is mail enhancer pro it's for it's from insanely eye and like I said earlier, 
in the description of this video will be a link to a, another video that will show you how to add and the best sources to add to your device so you can get all of these Cydia tweaks free and much, much more. All right, now, Mail Enhancer Pro for iOS 6, what it does is it allows you, and most people, if you're like me, you use more than one mailbox. Well, what this does is when you hit all, see, I'll show you how this different see this is different colors over here on the left I have blue green and red for each type of different uh, you know mailbox that the message is coming from so I mean it's a pretty cool you know tweak it's a little something different to dress up the way your mail application looks and how you tell your different mail messages apart when you're in the all inbox it's pretty cool so you know it just changes it up I mean uh, these tweaks here a lot of them have to do with changing the uh, coloring and the way that the uh, devices look and a lot of people are really liking this stuff so check these tweaks out they're pretty cool all right and finally number one is cursor and selection colors now cursor and selection colors is, is a very cool tweak it's also heavily theme orientated you see the purple color of the blinking uh, little icon there I'll show you what this does when I go ahead and select all you see how this red see the color of that now it's, it's completely different than normal the normal colors it's just it's changed all around there's another uh, I don't know if I have to change the I think I have to change that yeah I have to change like that now you see it's yellow I'll go ahead and select all again see the purple and gray dots on the little on the little dots that you move the that you move the cursors with I'll change it again every time you move it see it's red now the cursor I changed that all those settings all you have to do is go into your settings and this works everywhere by the way everywhere you type whether it's Safari wherever you type it'll always show different colors so it's pretty cool and it's something different and you can also adjust that in your settings app it doesn't add an application to your springboard either to your device so you just need to go into your settings and find cursor and color and cursor and selection colors and make your adjustments there and it's a pretty cool tweak and you can test it out right there when you make your changes as you can see it's blue right now and I'll press select it shows you the dots different colors and it's just you know it's a little something unique different you know change it around make your device look a little new alright this is supercharged iOS and that was five brand new city of tweaks for 2013. All right, see you guys in the next video. I hope you like this one. Please thumbs up and subscribe. Please, if you have any comments or any questions, just leave them below. I usually try my best to read and answer all of them. So just hit me up, and if you need any help, I'll try to do what I can. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.